La 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 la. Welcome back to Timber Borders. I don't know why I am singing in an opera voice. Maybe I have lost my mind. Or maybe I am excited because beavers teach mankind. That was a terrible rhyme, but I was focused on the upper voice rather than the words. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome to our cozy little map. The smallest map in the game. We're also playing the hardest mode in the game, but things seem to be going okay. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't want to get cocky. Are you sure about that? But we have a successful mega dam. We have plenty of crops being made. Trees over this side being planted. Oh, actually, actually, why is no one planting trees up here? I need a forester. I don't think we're building anything, are we? Are they You're just sat on their ass? Yep, shock. They're all sat on their butts, right? Reduce that down just to one. Ashley, you hold the fort. You keep the footpath warm for the other beavers. All right, here we go, here we go. Commonwealth peppermint has gone in there. So they will start planting trees because wood, wood is probably the thing we're struggling with the most. I think we fixed food last time. Water's sort of always been fixed thanks to the lovely mega dam. I love the mega dam. Every season I build a mega dam and I love it. But yeah, I tell you what, as it is, we're currently in the middle of the dry season. Four and a half days remaining. I'm going to up the priority a little bit of these inventor huts. So we've got Jonas Swanson in that one. We've got Admiral ADHD. There's another one down here. Yeah. Engitech's wolf guy is only nine and he is teaching the rest of beavers about the world in the form of science. Now, but yeah, I believe my, my aim for this episode was to try and focus on ripping up these ruins, turning them into a source of metal. So what I'm thinking, we bung part along there. We then fast forward through the night because I don't like night cycles in games because you can't see anything. And then, look at all the beavers. They're running like anything. Oh, we uh, actually, actually, look. There's no, there's no homeless beavers. I mean, technically, it's now morning. That little baby was Adler the puppy engineer. They've literally just been born. That's why they were late to bed. Uh, not because they went to bed late, but because they were literally just born from the breeding pods down here. Last time we upped our breeding capacity. So my beavers are no longer just working their wood for no good reason. They're getting that water for the breeding pods so that they can multiply. But yeah, we have, we have no more homeless beavers now. So all of our beavers, they get plus 20% life expectancy, plus 20% working speed plus 5% movement speed. Um, they still don't have the wet fur basic need though. And honestly, that's a little bit tricky to try and sort out because usually you just like put showers in. But this this land right here, like right on the edge of the riverbank, this is prime beaver real estate. Everyone wants to live here. I can't just rip up what we've got and replace showers because we need log pumpers. We need trees. We need plants, all that stuff. Just ignore the fact that this end's completely empty. Actually, sod it. Should I just put something up that end? Fine. You can convince me. You convince me. So if we've got a step down to there, what do we actually need for a shower? I think it's in well-being. Oh no, I need the science to unlock it. So 50 science and it costs one plank and 10 logs to make. Uh, we're actually rolling in both those resources. So let's get that unlocked. Yes, please. And then I guess let's shove a shower there, there. And then can I shove another one there if I move the path underneath? Oh, yes. Yes, I can. So that's good. This is our little showering area then. So beavers will come here to get wet. Um, and that is one of their basic needs. Nice little beaver fact for you there. Anyway, before we risk demonetization, let's get back to what we're doing over here. So we need some scrap metal stuff. So we have a metal tab here. Oh, no, scavenger flag needs 250 science. And then the smelter to smelt the scrap metal into metal blocks. That requires... 20 gears, 50 planks. Oh, we actually, we've got that. It does also require power though. So question is, how do we get more power? Because I'm playing as the Iron Teeth, we don't have access to windmills. We do have water wheels, but like in hard mode, droughts are pretty, pretty common, which means we don't get much river movement. We've got the Wheel of Shame and the two Wheel of Honors down here, but like we're going to need a lot of them to run smelters and stuff. So what are our other options in power? Engines. Yes but engines need 20 metal blocks. So maybe we'll just have to make them by hand until we have the engines. I think that's what we're doing. So for now, let's just make sure we're making enough science. Yeah, we got beavers in there. While we're waiting for the science, I might just have a little look. What's like another win? We've got the wet fur now, so that's good. Ooh, we could, we could make a mangrove because basically every type of food adds a bit more. The other thing, ooh, look, social life. Yeah, let's add, a, should we add a campfire? We do have a rooftop terrace. You can 
see it's there. Also aesthetics. Yeah, so this roof piece only covers this barrack. So basically I need a roof to go, I think, there. And that will cover these two. It's so pointless. Like I could put the roof like on the thing that needs a roof. Or I could put it on the ground right next to the building. But there is a reason for this. And that is because I'm going to shove another roof terrace like there. And then footpath down that bit. And then I can use this gap to try and get the aesthetic tab. Yeah, I'll shove a bush in the middle. Then I need to put a campfire somewhere. I might put that like up here. Oh no, I can only build this on the ground. I can only build it on ground. I can't build it on top of any of these buildings. Oh, that's annoying. Tell you what, I might I might put it up here. It's like there's no, there's nothing up here. I think this could be like a nice little relaxing spot. So yeah, campfire up there. And then I'm thinking one of those temples could work up here. Yeah, that's the temple. 400 science to unlock plus a load of resources. But that adds the spirit Spirituality thing, which if we look at Cold Knight, the temple adds plus five. That's a lot of well-being considering he's only got nine total. Still, we need a lot more science than that. Oh, look, the drought has ended. The drought has ended. Look at all the green coming back. Oh, that's better. That is better. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Pause. Slow down. Slow down. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> slow down. Slow down. Right, I need to let water out of here. Wow, the water actually went down really, really far that that dry season. But yeah, we let water out. Then this should overtop this down. There you go. And that has returned water to down here. So our trees are saved. Okay, so that's good. We can raise this back up now because I basically want this to fill up uh, hopefully before the next dry season because uh, at the moment, that's not a lot of water. But yeah, anyway, with our newly acquired science, let's unlock the scavenger flag for 250. And then we can shove one or maybe two of them in there. So that will allow beavers to scavenge these ruins. We need some storage which which I'll shove in that area opposite. And then look, someone's coming over to build that already. So nice. Then we'll up the priority. So Bob the Engineer, you are our first scrappy. Top left, look, we have one scrap metal now. So we're we're getting closer to be able to get the smelters on the go. The trouble with the smelters, as I said before, 300 science. We've only got 96. We haven't got any inventors in here because they're, they're sort of like the summer jobs. We prioritize log pumping in the timber warners. Perhaps temporarily I could slow down some of this because it looks like we're completely full of oil. So yeah, maybe the oil press. William Rockford, I'm going to pause that. Could pause the planks. We won't need planks for a little while. All right, then we've got one inventor. I just, I need more. I need more than just William. I tell you what, let's reduce a builder. So one of you, you're being fired. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Oh, actually, look. Adler the puppy engineer's grown up now. So yeah, if we follow them, look, they're going to the inventor hut. Nice. So now we've got four inventors on the goats. That will get our science up uh, just so I can unlock more stuff. By the way, over here, look, two new pubs, couple of new roofs, a new bush. This season, our beavers are thriving. They are not just surviving. You heard it here first. All right, up here, we've got Admiral ADHD. Oh, he's just made the campfire. That is going to make some happy beavers. Because I tell you what, check out the view from up here. Like, they, they, they see the whole of... The ho what do I call this place again? Oh, yeah, one. <laughs> <laughs> After the riddle. Oh, yeah. And look, look. It's the first evening. Check him out. Look, who's that? It's Adler the puppy engineer. Baby Austrian mechanical engineer. Good, strong name. Oh, he's, he's gone. He's disappeared. He got bored of me talking. Fair enough. RCE is secretly in... What have you... Why are you relaxing? You're meant to be in beaver jail. I mean, to be fair, look, he does he does work at the at the shaming world. That's why it's blue. All right, anyway, things are going pretty well. Science is getting there. We're on 250. No sign of a dry season. So this is fantastic. I'm just going to fast forward a few days. And then I need to try and plan out my smelters. The thing is, I can't remember how big they are. I need 300 science in order to unlock them and find out. But these blocks are pretty much the key to everything. Because remember with those... I can get the hydroponic gardens. They need five metal blocks. And then we can stack food. Because uh, at the moment, we've sort of maxed out all the green areas on here. I mean, there is this area. But as soon as this dries up, we lose that. Like, that's why, like, all the all the berry bushes are dead. Um, oh, by the way, look. Double scrappies. We got Nicholas Ogle, Bob the Engineer, stacking up a scrap metal ready for this. And oh, look, we got 300 science. So we'll unlock the smelter for 300 science. And then, yeah, I knew that. 
are long boys. They are long boys. Ah, dry season in three days. We need to work out how we're going to power these. Because you can see they need 200 HP. And one beaver in a shaming wheel or wheel of honor, they produce 50 HP. Oh, man, we need four wheel of honors for every smelter. So to be honest, it may be like the power wheels that decide the sort of size of this thing. So what I'm thinking, if we shove two like that and then two like that. This is really going to look like a train, by the way. I've just realized. If we grab a smelter and... <laughs> And shove it in the middle. It looks like a train with like massive wheels. That is awesome. But yeah, that's how much power we need. Just just for one. I'm um, right. I don't actually want to build those. I want to make this as space efficient as possible. And I think I could do that by adding stairs down here. And I got a footpath there and there. Which if I take out. Yeah, it means I can move over everything once. So that is perfect. And then in all these little, these little cracks. That's where I can put like storage. So small warehouses and all these little corners. Nope, got it wrong. Small industrial piles. I always forget, like, like, why are there two different types of storage? Why doesn't it tell you here, like, what they store? I always build the wrong ones. So, yeah, basically, that entire footprint is just for metal blocks. That's, uh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Oh, and I haven't even put the footpaths in down that way. That's for those. Oh, man. Am I going to be able to fit another one there? I don't think I have enough beavers to do, like, more than one smelter. So, I think a smelter, does that take two beavers or just one? If it takes two, that's six jobs jobs just to smelt this stuff down. Anyway, something I've noticed, uh, you remember I paused this oil press. Uh, we're still using the canola oil here. This is the fermenter. We're making the fermented soybeans. Smooth L2 is doing that. Good work. But I'm um, over this way. Look, this is our this is our small tank of oil. That hasn't gone down in like, well, an entire season, like a wet season, a dry season. It hasn't gone down. Uh, speaking of which, it is now dry season. So we just got to pause a couple of you lot because what works well is just leaving two two log pumpers up here. Every Everything else is just used for like keeping the place green. Oh my god, 16 days? What? <laughs> that increased dramatically. I also don't understand like why this bottom area never fills up. Is there, is there like a hole somewhere that I can't see? Like up here, you see the water level is like way higher. Don't know why that is. Don't know why that is at all. all. Right, anyway, we've got to a point. We've actually got two beavers that are unemployed. They don't have jobs. They're just twiddling their thumbs, sat in the pub, staring at nothing. But yeah, that's because because we've increased our breathing pods. So our population, we've now got 30 beavers, which is good because as, as some of these are like dying of old age, like Omkar, they're being replaced with like the youngsters. Well, yeah, I guess we are actually going to need that because of... Uh... <laughs> because of this monstrosity. So I guess let's pump everyone. Everyone become builders. Pranity, Brad, Justin Smith, join Lucifer B uh, and help make this area. I'm going to time lapse it and hopefully we should see these buildings go up whilst all of our resources don't go down too fast. Because for the next few days, I'm not moving the camera. I'm not playing at all. We'll just see how it goes. All right, wait, 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 wait. Hold fire on the time lapse. Hold fire on the time lapse. What's going on here? What's going on here? Hang on, hang on. Who is that? Why have you gone into the Wheel of Honor when you haven't been honored? It's Dylan Arwood. What, what are you doing in there, mate? The Wheel of Honor is only for those that have been honored before. Do you not remember the King's speech from last time? I guess that makes this wheel a wheel of shame. So join in, everyone, in the comments, at home, as loud as you can. Shame. In the meantime, we can cheer on these guys. So they're doing a fantastic job building the smelter. And look, they're just putting the final bits of scrap metal in, which they're getting from up here. How much have we stored? Oh, nearly, we've nearly maxed it out. So 30 will go into making this. And then once it is made, we can switch her on. Now, before we do that, we do actually need to nominate three beavers for the Wheel of Honor. Joseph wins, Ashley, and Adler, the puppy engineer. You got a lot of spotlight this episode. I guess that's how it works with puppies. Everyone loves a puppy. Um, and then finally, let's up the priority of the smelter and see who the first smelter is. It's William Rockwood. So they are running over and they've gone straight past it. Where are you going? Oh, they've got some wood because, yeah, we need wood to uh, fire up this thing and get the old pollution going. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. We are making metal blocks, which is fantastic news. Now, honestly, because it means we can progress like in a really, really big way. And I want to do that with the hydroponic garden. So 200 science to unlock. Yes. I want to make like a food skyscraper, like the tastiest skyscraper you've ever seen in your life. Question is, where where does it go? go. Shall I shove it on here? Because it needs water and this will be quite close to the water there. But, oh, actually, ah, we've got nine days of a drought. I forgot 
we're in a drought. But yeah, right, if we have that there, then we're going to need steps up. And I quite like the idea of doing that around this side. So I've just flipped it around. I'm not going to do steps to there like that. I'm actually going to do them like that. And then shove a platform there. Because in order to make this work, I am going to need to like stack my stairs up. And is the best way of doing that going around the back? Potentially. So I can go up more stairs there like that. Okay, then, yeah, let's get the triple platform unlocked gonna be useful so that goes around a corner and then flat to there because this is where our next one is gonna go like that and yeah so i can literally do a skyscraper like this oh this is actually gonna be really good so a lot of my food is just gonna be created like vertically and this tiny little footprint like compared to like my farm areas and stuff that is gonna be genius the one thing we need to do though is make sure we have enough water and what it might be worth doing ignoring the medium tank completely going straight to the large tank yes it costs a lot of resources and a lot of science but it saves space and stores a lot more per area so yeah let's save up 600 science and then we'll get the large tank and then we can potentially get rid of some of these because they're quite small and sort of pointless later on right decent look at the train by the way <laughs> look at that train is this working at 100 efficiency i mean it's working oh it's working at zero percent efficiency because the person who runs it will has to go get his own like logs and scrap metal and stuff still when it is running Look at the efficiency flying up. That should go up to 100%, I think. Yeah. Oh, and then it stops because he runs out of scrap metal. Okay, what we might need to do, because every time he leaves, that's uh, that's these four beavers basically doing nothing. So I may need to build one of these, a hauling post. The question is, where do I shove it? I mean, it does fit in there quite nicely. And I am wasting two squares behind it. Alternatively, down here, I don't think we're ever gonna... Oh, are we gonna... We may want... Yeah, actually, we may want to move them. Because basically, this is my industrial area at the moment and if i were to get rid of that water tank and put stairs in then i could lose that path and connect more buildings together because you've got to connect buildings to share power so yeah we'll find somewhere oh I'll tell you what why have i not built anything there that's like the perfect area for something the perfect area for a hauling post get it built so i've high prioritized it apparently we're out of planks oh you're out of planks because i've paused the plank machines oh no <laughs> all right unpause pause the gear one we've got 60 gears we don't need any more gears all right we've got nicholas and engitech in there we've got thomas and mark we are making planks again <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I turned all my planks into gears. All right, but come morning, the hauling post is done. So let's reduce the number of builders we have just down to one. That'll be fine. And then we got these three guys in here being haulers. And if I come over to this and say prioritize building by haulers, basically those beavers, they'll do all the legwork, meaning William Rockford can just stay in there making metal blocks. That is efficient engineering for you. Oh, and down here, look, it's built. It is built. So hydrogen hydroponic garden what do you want to make algae or mushrooms i think both require like extra stages afterwards uh, it looks like oh man the algae takes way longer as well you get a lot more in return though 288 hours so the fermenter will turn four mushrooms into 16 fermented mushrooms that we can eat what do i do with the algae again oh do i need the food factory yeah okay can't be dealing with that right now we'll just make mushrooms up the priority oh no <laughs> Up the priority again. There you go, Bob the Engineer. Making mushrooms a very, very efficient organic vegetable thing. Fungi. Fungi. That's the word. <laughs> organic vegetable thing. I worry about myself sometimes. Anyway, back to sniffing that molten metal. Mmm, that's definitely not the cause of my woes. All right, anyway, down the bottom, you can see this has run out of water again. I might just not worry about these trees. I think that'll be fine. Something I may need to worry about, though, the water level up here, quite low. Oh, and the water level here, look at me glitching through. There's not a lot there. I still have about two mouse arrows left, so I'm probably going to have to let some water out but I don't want these to stop pumping because they pump at like a higher level. I should have made sure the pump goes in there. I mean, I could dynamite this out, but that requires dynamite, shockingly. So yeah, I'll let a tiny bit of water out. And oh no, we are running out of water. We're down to 30 water. I got five days remaining. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. This could be the end. What are we going to do? I can pump more water, but then all the water will go. Hey, look at their straws. There's like, there's nothing left. I got nothing left. But yeah, I feel like we need to turn it up to like DEFCON 1 now. Like we're nearly out of water here. This is... Oh no, look. They've sucked it dry. 
They've sucked it dry. Oh, no. Right. Pause those. That's four jobs we don't need. I'll tell you what. It's, it's this, isn't it? It's a hydroponic garden. I'm, I'm pausing that for now. I don't care. That's ruined us. That's absolutely ruined us. Oh, why didn't I wait till I had the large water tanks? Um, okay, what can I do? I can let water out here. Then hopefully it will overflow down here and I can turn these pumps on. Um, no, no water came out. I mean, I could delete one. Then my beavers can't get across. I'm going to have to. We're, we're out of water now. We've got no choice. Delete, delete. Now, there we go. We have water down here, which means we we have drinking water again. Everyone's getting thirsty. Oh, this is sketch. This is sketch. Um, if I want beavers to get across, I guess I can just put steps in like that. And then they can access this side. Oh, I think I think I may have saved us. Thinking on your toes. I think we're gonna be okay. We got three days till the till the rain comes back. Oh man, that was sketchy. Oh no, look. Oh no. No. Oh, no, we're in trouble. We are actually in big trouble. So we have no water up here. Two and a half days till the water returns. Oh, no, these kohlrabis. They're going to die in two days. All oh, right. Okay, prioritize harvesting. Prioritize kohlrabis. Get them in. What about the canola? Drying out and dies in 0.4 days. Okay, they're doomed. Soybean drying out, dying 0.1 days. Okay, they're already gone. Oh, this is a disaster, right? There's berries on there. Oh, that'll last nine days. Okay, that's fine. I think that hydroponic garden absolutely ruined me. I got very, very confident in my abilities and it, it completely ruined me. Yeah, look at all this. That's all the canola dying. Oh, no. Look at this down here. This is baby shore two, three, four, five. They've literally just been born. You've been born into a famine and drought and just utter, utter badness. This is, I'm sorry, sure. That's all I can say. I'm sorry. I guess we've got nothing to do but just wait 1.8 days and hope my beaver survive. We've got 20 water. The logs are frantically pumping, but are they pumping hard enough? All right, well, water seems to be going down quicker than it's going up. Like it went up a little bit and then it's just dropping like anything. We've got one more day to survive. Unfortunately, the water down here, you can see like the tips of the straws, like that brown bit. I'm not feeling confident. It's only a day though. We can survive a day, right? Right? I don't know. And you're not going to know either because we're leaving this on a cliffhanger. So for now, I'll say peace, love and beavers. Bye.